I am a professional black man. That's mm -hmm. my job is to be supportive of black people mm -hmm. above anything else. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And so this is where people kind of get twingy around me because I've got a very narrow focus. Mm -hmm. When the grants talk about inclusion, mm -hmm. I go, um, if they're black, I look after them. Mm -hmm. I answered a question on my OAC grant and I said, hashtag still black. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Because that's my focus. And you can say, well, what about if, it, if they're hearing impaired or they're this or they're that? And I go, are they black? Mm -hmm. Because if they are, I'm there for them. Mm -hmm. If they're not, there's a lot of other theaters in this town who should be picking up the slack and looking after them. Mm -hmm. So I don't go for the shotgun approach of inclusivity. I go for what is going to be best for black artists. To that end, how, how have you found getting a black audience into the theater? I find that it's growing when you have shows that speak to the black experience, black people will come out. Mm -hmm. We had all sorts of Ghanaians out for schoolgirls because they're seeing their, their, their country, their mm -hmm. rep on the deck. Mm -hmm. So they come out. If you put up shows that people want to see, people come out. That doesn't mean to say that we don't, our audience isn't, isn't wide and mixed. But the day that I sit down and I start to say, I'm going to cater to every single issue, person, thing in the world, is that's when I lose my focus. And my focus has always been that, and I tell this story a lot, do you remember when you're a kid and your buddy wants to get up over a fence? And you put your hands like this, mm -hmm. and they put their foot in your hands, and you give them a boost. Mm -hmm. That's obsidian. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's my job for black artists. Mm 